with new information about a deadly shooting in Soho this morning. The police now say that a group of men mugged a man before shooting and killing him. This all started on a popular street lined with expensive boutiques. Now it is a crime scene and police are looking for that shooter. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo is in Soho this afternoon with what we know now. Anthony? Sandra, that's right, and at this point of the investigation, police believe the victim may have just been passing through this area when he was targeted and shot in this mugging. You see a Range Rover there at the center of this crime scene. We are on Green Street, the cobblestone block typically filled with luxury shoppers, as you mentioned, now clad in crime scene tape and flooded with police. A pair of green sneakers on a blood-stained sidewalk, just some of the remnants after police say this 31-year-old man was shot on a trendy, ritzy Soho block at 5.30 in the morning. Orange cones marked what appeared to be shell casings on Green Street. There are at least four scattered on the cobblestone road next to a Range Rover. And police say the victim was out last night, possibly in Queens, and driving through Soho to get home to Bayonne, New Jersey, when all of this went down. Detectives believe he was shot in an apparent robbery gone bad in Soho. What exactly the robbers were looking to take from him, well, that's unclear. But police say the victim was shot in the leg, a wound that would turn fatal. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. And this is certainly not a run-of-the-mill day for people who live in the high-end neighborhood and those showing up to work with a crime scene now outside several luxury stores. I just came upon this like everyone else. It's shocking. There is obviously a different pulse citywide in the boroughs in Manhattan. None of us are happy about it. But to hear that someone's life was lost through a gunshot at five in the morning in your own neighborhood, it's pretty, it's disconcerting to say the least. You know, luxury stores, designer stores, so um, I wouldn't really expect that someone would be someone would be affected by gun violence around here, but yeah, definitely really shocking. And those women, women there you just heard from having trouble getting to work today because, again, you look here live at the crime scene. Uh, this whole street is taped off. You've got numbered markers now in place of those orange cones next to that Range Rover, which has stayed untouched since we have gotten here. Now, again, police believe this was a robbery that went wrong, but the exact circumstances surrounding how the victim initially interacted with his attackers, those remain unclear right now as police search for a group of men they say fled in a black SUV. We're live in Soho. Anthony Carlo, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.